Hello, and thank you for choosing Stanford Healthcare. We want to go over what to expect after you've had radio surgery. Despite the name, radio surgery isn't surgery. There's no expected time that you'll need to recover afterward. You should be able to get back to your regular activities right away unless your doctor tells you otherwise. But you may have some symptoms during the weeks to months after treatment, depending on which part of your body received radiation. Radiation causes inflammation around the area where we treat, so it's normal to have some side effects from it. If you had brain radiation, you may feel tired, nauseated, have a headache, or some patchy hair loss or thinning. These problems are usually mild and should go away on their own after a few weeks. If you had radiation on your spine, you may feel more discomfort in the treated area, usually within a week of your treatment. This is called a pain flare. It does not mean the radio surgery didn't work. It usually happens because of normal inflammation. For headache or back pain, you can take any pain medicine that you would normally take. That could be Tylenol or an anti-inflammatory pain reliever like Advil. Unless your doctor has told you to avoid those medicines for any reason, such as liver problems, heart, kidney, or bleeding issues, or a recent surgery. If your pain medicine doesn't work, let your care team know. They may consider prescribing a short course of steroids. If you had radiation on your upper spine, you may get inflammation in your esophagus, the tube that connects your mouth and stomach. That may make it uncomfortable or painful to swallow. Let your care team know as soon as you feel this so they can prescribe a medicine to help. Most people have mild side effects after radio surgery, but please contact us if you have any symptoms that worry you. Call right away if you have new numbness or tingling, weakness in any part of your face, arm or leg, trouble seeing, hearing or speaking, or trouble with balance or walking. If these problems seem severe or are getting worse and you can't contact your team quickly, go to the emergency room right away. It's rare, but some people may have a seizure after brain radiation. If that happens, go to the emergency room. It takes time to see how well radiation therapy worked. We won't be able to tell during your treatment or even within the first few months after. You will have your first follow-up appointment a few months after your treatment. This appointment should take about 30 minutes. Before that visit, you'll likely get an imaging test like a CT scan or an MRI. This will help your doctor see the effects of radiation. We'll also want to know if you have any side effects from the treatment. We will continue to see you and check your imaging scans every few months after that. If you were treated for a tumor, these checkups will help us ensure that your tumor is not growing. You'll likely have these appointments for years. Our goal is to make sure your radiosurgery treatment is the safest, most effective therapy for you. Thank you for choosing Stanford Healthcare.